right guys so before we're gonna do the installation i'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown so we got the main resource right here so this is our computer this can control your uh, ethanol percentage your driving mods like the eco dynamic and sport and then we got the ethanol sensor and then we got the main wiring harness that's going to go ahead and plug into your computer we got an additional fuel line some fuel connectors uh, fuel disconnector and then we got the injector wiring so this is going to go ahead and connect to your oem injectors along with that they give you guys uh some extra wiring clips so if anything broke or something got damaged you can go ahead and replace it with the extra clips you got and then last but not least we got the the backup computer so what this is going to do if there's something wrong with your original computer this is going to go ahead and replace it uh temporary but you're going to have to get your new computer so this is everything that comes with the eplex pro kit like I said, this is pretty basic. Uh, everything's plug and play. Let's go ahead and do the installation. One of the previous videos, we did the BC Racing Corridor install in this car. Uh, so the customers, he was really happy. He enjoyed the car. We got a new wheel set up, new tires and everything. You guys want proofs right here. Got the BC Racing Corridor sitting nice and tight. So today, this is going to be his first engine mod so he's planning to boost the car in the future he wants to put a turbo kit on it so he's going to start it with the e85 kit so we got the eflex pro we're going to go ahead and do the installation on this car he's taking the the panels out there and that way we can get a little bit more access in the back all right so we went ahead and take out the, the panel right here nice and safe Right now, we gotta deal with this bracket. So there's gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts, one right there, one on the other side. And this is gonna be a 12 millimeter bolt. He's gonna go ahead and take it out for you guys. This is going to come out just like that. Just going to put that on the side for right now. Then, got the fuel line coming all the way right there from the regulator right there. So, we're just going to go ahead and disconnect the fuel line and we're going to hook up our ethanol sensor. All right, so. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the fuel line. So we got a quick disconnect. So what I'm gonna do, have this top end right here with the screwdriver. Then I'm gonna squeeze the bottom, push the clip. There you go. Just like that. I have a rag just to collect the extra fuel that is coming out from the hose. gonna leave right there you also got one in the in the back so all right so we got the fuel line disconnected from here uh, and we also got it from disconnected in the back right there so just like before it's gonna be a, a little quick releaser uh, you can pinch the plug and it disconnected, it, it'll come right out. I'm gonna get rid of the oil fuel line we have. There's nothing damaging to the OEM one. If anything, if uh, just in case Alexis wanna go back to the OEM setup, you can still use this OEM, you know, OEM hose. All right, so we took the OEM fuel line completely out of the way, so uh, right now, I'm gonna do is connect the quick release. 
and then we're gonna plan to mount the ethanol sensor right there basically we got the aftermarket fuel line so this is gonna come out of from here all the way from here to there from this end all the way to our new quick release that's nice and tight and then right now I'm gonna take the ethanol sensor it flips out and we got more quick releasers so just gonna plug them in like that and then what we're gonna do got the longer hose it's gonna go from here to this end and from here all the way to that end right there all right right now we're gonna run the host line right now we got the ethanol sensor uh just put a temporary put a zip light uh zip tight just gonna put the clamp So we're gonna make sure which one is the continuity so we're gonna find out which one is the red wire which one is the positive which one's the negative so what are you gonna do we're gonna disconnect two of our injector wiring harness we're gonna put the red one into one of the sides and then this one to this one If it beeps, see? Alright, so if you guys are confused about this last part uh, where we use the multimeter and then find the um, voltage, there's an easy way. So we have our OEM wiring harness for the injectors and then we have the aftermarket one. Basically, the yeah, aftermarket wires, they have these red wires for all four injectors. Basically, your red wire is going to go to this yellow wire gonna connect that to that yellow wire As you can see this is the second injector see the yellow wire we have this one right here see a yellow wire see a yellow wire so basically this connector and this wiring is gonna be separate you're gonna have to connect them uh, with, by yourself so make sure when you do that your red wire has to be aligned with the yellow wire right there so that's how you figure out uh which way to connect and don't worry about the order uh your pig your piggyback computer is gonna find the order uh it's gonna be automatic so you don't have to like uh make an order so all right so we're gonna go ahead and connect everything back together we ran the wires uh from here the fuel line all the way back right there from underneath the panel coming around from the brake booster and we have the piggyback computer sitting right here like that 
and we're gonna connect the injector wiring harness right now so just like that everything's plug and play just to make sure everything's nice and tight all right and then last but not least we have the the heat sensor uh so you can just kind of like rest it right here you can just find a place uh in my case i'm gonna leave it right here and don't worry everything's uh, gonna be heat secure so nothing's gonna be melted these are really uh good and protected so you don't have to worry about anything else this is gonna be the end of the video uh, we just did a E85 conversion on this Civic SI. This is a 2012 on the Civic SI, six-speed manual transmission. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys back in the next video. Thank you.